Remember the words you told me, love me till the day I die. Surrender my everything, cause you made me believe you're mine. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today is a little bit different. I'm not in my studio. <laughs> I'm actually in my bedroom. That's why you can hear my dog downstairs. Um, so sorry about that. But um, I thought today I would film something that I have been doing for the last four months, but especially for the past 30 days. Now, by all means, little disclaimer, I am no business expert. In fact, I'm probably the opposite. I have literally just learned along the way and I've tried to speak to as many people as possible and learn and just really try to expand and grow my business, um, especially during the pandemic. I mean, that's hard for every business in itself, even if you're fully established. Um, but I have really tried to see what skills and tips have helped me so i have nailed three th no not three things <laughs> i have nailed five things for the past 30 days i've done them for the last four months but for the past 30 days i have made sure they are my priority um, and i have seen my business grow in the pa past 30 days <laughs> i can't speak again um then i have for the past four months it's definitely helped me grow so i'm going to just dive straight in and tell you what my first tip is now these are literal game changers um without the without one of them you might as well not do any of them because you've got to just push and push and push and my first one leading on from that is consistency you need to be consistent whatever it is you are doing whatever it is your goal is you need to make sure that you are making consistent progress and to do that you need to make sure that you are doing something every single day no matter what it has got to be done it is priority so i make sure every single day that i post at least once i post on every form of social media at least once um if not twice so I don't want to be posting rubbish. I don't want to be posting low quality things. I want all my work that is out there for public to see, I want that to be the best that I can possibly bring to the table um, every single time. So you've got to make sure that you are kind of creating a profile for yourself. If you are on social media and selling a product like Blooms or um, I don't know, flowers, anything like that, you've got to understand that your social media is your portfolio and that is so important. That is your first impressions. Like Your latest post is what people are going to see first, isn't it? I know it sounds silly, but that is your portfolio um, and people are going to judge you on that. So you've got to make sure for yourself and for your business that you are posting the best of the best um, every single day consistently you've got to remain present at the end of the day you want to be so for example and there's nothing wrong in saying this um, because at the end of the day everybody's got friends in the same industry as what you are in and you want to see your friends do well absolutely if i can push any business even if it's not bloom related um, if I see somebody with an amazing business, I will shout them from the rooftop, but I want my page, um, if somebody says, All right, I want um, a bloom stylist or an event stylist, I want that my name to be the first one to pop up, and that's absolutely fine, because you want to do well, you want your business to do well, and consistency would definitely do that, so that is my little tip number one for you. Um, and leading on from that, this is also really important, is to just be yourself. Um, when I first started doing videos, for example, which, oh, my child is caught, uh, which I never in a million years thought that I would be doing, uh, because my confidence was literally, <laughs> even doing a story on Instagram terrified me, like, absolutely petrified me. And still to this day, I'm like, oh, God, like, why do I do this to myself? <laughs> um, but you've got to feel un uncomfortable to grow. So I just use those as barriers. I feel uncomfortable doing it, but I'm going to let you know that because that's me being honest and authentic and 
you know, what have I got to hide? You can act confident, but it only lasts for so long. <laughs> you just got to do it. Um, so definitely be yourself. And don't be afraid of what other people are going to think of you because that is a massive, massive thing. You're going to get somebody to talk about you whether you're doing good or whether you're doing bad. So you might as well just do your best. Um, and that leads on to my third tip that I have been doing religiously every single day for the past, I started at the end of Feb, beginning of March, so maybe like five months. Um, so for five months I've practised every day. There's not been a day that's gone by where I have not done something for my business or for myself. So I am practising my styles, I'm practising with social media, I'm practising with different conditions, outdoors, indoors, frames, bricks, literally anything that you can think of, I'm practicing, not like talking to a camera for example, that doesn't come naturally to me, um, I'm literally like the most anxious person and the thought of filming was like, oh my god, like do I do this, um, but you've just got to do it haven't you, you've got to remain your practicing, does that make sense? I'm just rambling on, but that's definitely helped me. I've practiced every single day, like regardless of anything, um, whether it be when Freddie goes to bed, first thing in the morning, all day, like I've literally spent hours practicing. So um, when you do that, your confidence naturally comes, doesn't it? So when I first started selling, this is a this is one of the oh sorry I just got my hair <laughs> you know I'm not be pointing um, so when I started selling I was so nervous and still to this day I can't stand selling um, I don't want to have to sell my products I want my products to sell themselves but at the end of the day it's a world where you have to sell you have to have those skills and even that is something that you can practice every single day um, watch YouTube practice speaking to your friends, family, just do everything that you can to make sure and guarantee that your service is getting better every single day. Um, so for the past 30 days, I've done something different every, every single day for the past 30 days to try and improve my skills and my service. Um, so definitely have a go at that. Um, number four is networking and oh my god, like this is crucial. Networking is basically speaking to people. Um, I didn't know barely anybody in this industry when I started, um, so it's hard to get advice. It's hard to speak to people without it becoming like a competition, um, which I can't stand. I'd rather just have everybody help everybody, <laughs> which I'm really lucky to be honest because like majority like 99 percent of the people in this business are so lovely and everybody helps everybody because that's the best thing about being creative because it is an individual process so every design is just individual isn't it it's personal and um, you can't copy a style you can take inspiration but even when you are doing it you know it, it's your own style um so networking is definitely important because it, it makes those crucial connections, it makes those connections with venues, it makes those connections with clients that have big bigger clients, um, social media outlets, I don't know, literally anybody. Um, word of mouth is so important um, in any self-employed business, word of mouth and um, reviews give you that re reliability <laughs> and trustworthiness <laughs> so definitely um, start networking that is like major 100% definitely do your networking and number five which I've already touched upon is to get out of your comfort zone now I could speak about this for ages um, I've come out of my com comfort zone every single day um, and even yesterday when I did my first live I was literally shaking <laughs> I was so nervous because there's no editing on that there's no like oh god no I just cropped that bit out um, so if you mess up you mess up and I was sat on the edge of the sofa thinking oh my god why have I done this to myself <laughs> why have I 
put myself in this position, but it's true. As soon as you feel that fear and that doubt and that, oh my God, why am I doing this? You're about to make something big. You are gonna make the next step forward for yourself. Um, so small wins every day, small little wins. Um, if you don't feel comfortable getting in front of the camera, try just taking some pictures, take it to the next step, do some stories, um, get on a phone call with people, start emailing businesses, just every single day do something to get out of your comfort zone because even though growth is uncomfortable, growth is progress. Growth is progress? Well, yeah, but you know what I mean. Um, uncomfortableness is progress. You've got to step outside what you know because as soon as you get back to your safety net, nothing's going to change. You need to change for your outside world to change and this is where um, a little tip number six, well it's not necessarily a tip but it's something that's definitely helped me and I know that I've mentioned it before, if you haven't already study the law of attraction, <laughs> I can't stress it enough, the more that you want something in your heart of hearts, if you genuinely know this is what I want, I have got goals for this time next week, I've got goals for this time next year, five years, ten years, and you are literally fixated on those goals, nothing is going to distract you from them, you know that, you know, no matter what comes into your life, no matter if you haven't made a sale for five months, if you have messed up on a massive event, if the worst thing in the world has happened to you, you know that that will not stop you, you have got laser vision, um, you will get it, you will get it because there is no fail in having your heart set on something and I think if you put your heart and soul and pour everything into it every spare minute of the day, every drop of energy into doing what you love, you, you cannot fail. So my tips are just, just literally go for it. Watch The Secret on Netflix. <laughs> um, I can't stress that enough. That's not the biggest tip of them all. Um, but definitely make sure that you are networking. Make sure that you are practicing every single day, growing your own individual style. Um, and you can do that by using loads of different styles. So make sure you like dip and dab into absolutely everything because trial and error is the main thing and um, so make sure that you're using trial and error find what you do best slot yourself into your own groove and everything will just fall into place so i really really hope that this video has helped you and um, get some little tips and tricks on how to kind of grow as a business or um little hints and tips to just give you a direction for day to day because i guarantee you if you do these five things every day for 30 days you will see a difference and if you don't I just know you will I just literally know you will because consistency is key and imagine if you continue to do this for the next five years ten years look where you could be there is literally no limits to what you can set yourself so just go for it every day pour your heart and soul out into it and I know that you will do well because you've got to believe in yourself and I believe in you, <laughs> um, even if you don't know me, I still do. I just think if you have that much passion for something, it, nothing can go wrong. So yes, if this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe if you would like to become a part of this balloon world family <laughs> um, and also just to watch my journey as well I mean as I said at the beginning I am no business expert um, I'm still constantly reaching out to people who can help me um, because the more people the better and um, the more ideas the more guidance it's just amazing so definitely 100% give it a go and I would love to know how you get on so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one